Hello dudes and dudesses. Some of you have been asking me how to make a system to transport items from the nether back to the overworld. The reason is my recent nano guardian farm that uses portals to send the guardians to the nether where they are killed. And uh, I've come up with two versions. Uh, one that you can use in your single player world and one that's perhaps better for a multiplayer world so you don't create lag. And uh, what you're looking at is a small version, there's not much to it. The hoppers represent the feed line from the farm. Then there's two dispensers and a very simple dirty hopper clock. Um, that, you know, turn on like this, so it goes with the faster rates. You see the shots there, they're actually not going to here, they're going through to the nether. And of course, in, in reality, it would be different. <laughs> The nether, this part will actually be in the overworld and um, the other part in the nether. So, but you can see the shots coming in and you can collect them in the hopper and uh, it's all very easy to do. And to build it is equally easy. You put two dispensers pointing this way and you take your observer and uh, do like this, make them point into each other and then you use the piston trick where if you place a piston and move one of the observers it will actually go much faster so there you have it that's the system all done you can see there's nothing there and uh, if we just put in some shots you will be able to see that pushing them out like this nothing to it. The bigger one is slightly more complicated. Um, again the hoppers represent the feed line and you have uh, slimes uh, pushing uh, the items through. They are dropped down by dispensers and pushed through in, in batches so you don't load the portal continuously. Um, if we go behind the scenes, so to speak, you can see an Etho Hopper Club there, and the slimes will be pushing out the shards. There has to be two blocks before the portals, otherwise it will fly through, even though uh, the portal is lit. Uh, let's just do like this again. So it's turned on, and turn on the Hopper Club pushing it out. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's pushing out shots right now and they're just naturally getting bundled up on the floor. And um, every time this ether hover clock moves, you can see it here, uh, you can see it through the slime as well, it gets pushed through the portal. Now let's build this thing. Uh, you need to go back uh, three or four, I think, yeah like this and you need to place a sticky piston one more I think one two three yeah and then a sticky piston right there and you need to place uh, two slimes in front of it like so and two dispensers pointing down uh, then you need more obsidian or any immovable block basically to frame it in so ev everywhere it touches the slime in both positions uh, and you can use a different block um, to frame in the rest like so yeah now I need one more on each side yeah like so and um, then you need to make the observer clock same as the other one looking into each other, into each other, and a piston, oh, and a piston just to uh, make it go faster and to be able to turn it off, of course, like so. And then you need to make an old school Etho hopper clock. Uh, I love this, I use it all the time. And it's incredibly good branding by him, I mean, I would like my guardian farm to be mine the fab guardian farm, but it's kind of long, so uh, probably ain't gonna happen. Or my mine the fab iron farm, but it's not gonna happen either. So 
like this it's a genius the uh, lever is just to uh, turn it on and off if you do use four stacks you, you're certain that it, nothing will despawn before it's sent through this is to turn it on and off and uh, now we just need to connect the hopper clock with the piston and it's a kind of yeah it, it's a bit weird i'm doing it like this with uh, observers because um, basically it's the easiest way to uh, have the observer only uh, push and retract at, at, at the same uh, time so i think we're finished yeah uh, yeah we are so that's it yeah that's the system you want to use if you want to reduce uh, lag on your server and as i said if you have a uh, four in there nothing will despawn i'm just taking it out so we won't have to wait so long for you to see it pushing out some uh, shots like so and they should be coming through like this and uh, let's see how long do we have to wait yeah there they were thank you for watching if you liked it leave a like and uh, subscribe do subscribe and uh, hit that belly button bye <laughs>